Hello, I'm Dave with uh, Polymax, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to assemble and disassemble your SF650 all-in-one filter. This filter is good for ponds up to a thousand gallons without fish, and up to 500 gallons with a fish lid. Um, it is equipped with a 30-foot cord, so good for uh, out-of-range, long-range power outlets. Here you have your bag of fittings, and this will have all your fittings in it uh, to, set, to set up your filter. Okay. Uh, the first uh, piece we have here is your fountain kit. Now this is going to come with your reducer bushing. This just threads right onto the bottom, like so. Okay. Next uh, we have uh, three different fountain nozzles. Uh, your first one is a bell, so this is going to make a bell shape. And then uh, the other two ones we have here are a uh, a small two-tier nozzle and a large two-tier nozzle. The large two-tier nozzle does have larger ports for water to get through. The smaller two-tier nozzle has smaller ports. Okay. Uh, next, we have a diverter. This is going to uh, thread onto the bottom of your fountain kit, like so. This is uh, good uh, to use if you have a spinner or a small waterfall. Okay. So that threads onto the bottom of your fountain kit. So now we're going to choose the uh, head that we want. I'm just going to go with the bell. This just threads right onto the top and we found it in, okay? Now that we have that all installed, your diverter uh, will thread directly onto your uh, fountain kit. So, let's see here. This will thread on like so. Okay, and then uh, your fountain kit just threads onto the top of that. Uh, so you, this is not a necessary piece. You do not have to use this. It's only if you're running an auxiliary water feature, again, such as a spitter or a waterfall. Uh, if you also want to use a tubing that's going directly to your waterfall, you have a barbed fitting here, and this will thread directly onto there to the actual filter. Or if you want to run the hose horizontal, just uh, use this little elbow piece, and that'll thread right on like that. Okay. Uh, to go over the fountain kit, this again threads right onto the filter. Okay. Now, if your pond is uh, deeper than uh, this length right here, this fountain uh, kit does extend up to provide you with more length. Uh, also, if the bottom of your pond is uneven, this does uh, rotate so that you can make it so it's straight up and down. All right. Uh, now that we've covered that, I'll show you the inside of the actual filter. So to take off this top, make sure that you unthread the fountain kit. Make sure also that you are taking off that bushing that we put on. If you leave this on there, the top will not come off. So make sure that you get all that off, okay? And then unclip your four clips here. So one, two, three, and four. This top piece will come off. Just put that to the side. The first uh, piece we have here is your filter pad, okay? This is your filter pad. This is going to be the first point of filtration uh, for, for your water, okay? Then inside the filter we have your pump, UV, and your biological filtration. This is a 660 gallon power pump, a 13 watt UV, and then this is just your biological filtration. This pump also does come with a adapter You'll see here, this is necessary for using your fountain nozzle, so just make sure that that is on your pump. This does come pre-installed on the pump. <coughs> to change the UV, there's two Phillips screws, one there and one here. This, the UV comes out and then you just change your UV bulb. We do recommend changing that at minimum of once a year. All right, to put this back together, you get your filter pad, make sure this is where the pump goes, and then this is for your UV indicator. Make sure that is lined up. And then get your top right here. And uh, put it on. Make sure those clips are not caught. And this goes down. Put your clips on. Okay, this right here is your UV indicator. This will light up a uh, blue to show that your UV indicator, your UV is on. Now, your UV, after a year, it may still light up blue, but we do recommend changing your UV bulb, even though it's still on. Any other questions regarding this product or any of the other product products, uh, feel free to go to the website 
or you can't call the 800 number listed on the front of these instructions.